And hi everybody out there, Mark Mannering here from Class Training with another Three Minute Thursday. Three tips in three minutes more or less. And we're gonna be covering some big picture aspects with Microsoft Teams. A lot of organizations out there are now implementing uh, Teams for their uh, communication, their collaboration with their colleagues and external people as well. So some three big aspects that I've identified with Teams for you to get your head around. The first big aspect is the whole idea of creating teams themselves within Microsoft Teams. So you can see my examples down the left hand side here. I've got the usual and obvious examples, class, general, uh, finance department, HR unit, but I've also got golfing buddies and trainers and even clients. And you'll see the last two there are used for mini or simple projects. So you can set up a project um, as a team, and more about that a little bit later. With each uh, particular team, uh, people get a bit confused what's meant by the channel. Now the channels within a team are basically just the topics, the issues, or the categories, uh, things or subjects that you want to divide up your information, your collaboration into for that particular team. So for example, with uh, golfing buddies, I've got hints and tips and meetings that we're holding, and tournaments and comps coming up. Uh, with the uh, project uh, ones at the bottom there, I've got general meetings, the schedule of tasks, and so on. So uh, channels are basically used as uh, subtopics or subheadings within those particular teams. And again, more about that, uh, other, those other projects there at the bottom a little bit later. Tip number two is all the options you have while you are running a meeting or holding a meeting. Now you can see here, I've already got a boxing tournament meeting. Um, set up and that's going to be part of my project that I'll uh, show you very soon. So if I join this particular meeting and by the way it's already set up as I said and uh, the way you create a meeting or calendar uh, entry within Teams is very similar to Outlook. So if I uh, click join here uh, I can go in and there's my uh, camera ready to go. I just say join now and while I'm talking now there's my uh, invitee. They've already accepted the um, uh, meeting uh, invite and so I've got my assistant here for this boxing tournament meeting we're having and an obvious reason why I've got that person there. Now, by the way, as I said, in meeting options. Now I've got uh, here, I can go into my uh, notes, show meeting notes. And down the right hand side there, we've already got uh, in the blink of an eye, I've already got some meeting notes, a bit more than what you can record just with chat and so on. So someone could be assigned to take the notes and you've got headings and uh, subheadings as well. The view notes tab here down the bottom right, I can go into the view notes tab and I have a virtual whiteboard. So if we're doing some brainstorming during the meeting, uh, we can go to the whiteboard and straight away I've got some brainstorming there just uh, as if we're on an actual whiteboard to uh, record some of the stuff talked about in the meeting. If I go back to where I was, I can go here and share my screen. So if I've got a PowerPoint file to share or an Excel spreadsheet or whatever it might be, I can bring that, that up as well. I can upload files and people can open up the same file at the same time, an Excel spreadsheet or Word document, and we can work on those during the meeting as well. And the third big tip is a big aspect of Microsoft Teams. As I mentioned before, you can use it for simple project management. So I've got an example here project boxing tournament and I've got some channels now the schedule of tasks here within the schedule of tasks I've added what they call the project planner tab so if I go into here and this can be used for simple management of the tasks involved in a particular project I can add tasks I can assign people uh, to those particular tasks and those particular people can go tick they've done that particular task as well and stop saying particular I can also see a progress chart of the particular project and I've got some uh, nice charts there just to give us a graphical view of how it's going. I can go back to the so-called board and sort these tasks by who it's assigned to, by the uh, progress and so on. And that's all there is for the three big aspects of Microsoft Teams. We cover a lot more than this in our sessions. Have a look on the website for when we've got those scheduled. We'll show you how to do all this and more, how to uh, uh, implement it for your particular organization. We'll give you lots of best practice and lots of shortcuts how to use the app itself as well. So uh, if you've got any queries, just contact me. Uh, Mark Mannering signing off and seeing you again soon. Thanks a lot.